and today we are this is Nanya from Tech Barrack and uh, today we are going to talk about proxies uh, there are two types of proxies IP port proxies and web proxies web pro proxies are basically used to hide your IP address from a website uh, the IP address uh, there's a location associated with the IP address so there are websites which are region restricted which allow only uh, IP address from a particular region like uh, India so uh, IP address from any other country won't be allowed so to remove these barriers we can use web proxies or IP port proxies web proxies are very simple to use they can be used on any browsers and any OS uh, just need to go to website like hidemass.com and uh, there is this web proxy option uh, there are two options in a web proxy you want a SSL security web proxy or a normal web proxy SSL security web proxy is for websites which are password protected and uh, if you are using a normal web proxy like normal websites you can just uh, use it so let's uh, let us test whether this web proxy works or not by visiting a website that's ipaddress.org and just click on hide my ass and it will give me a IP address which is different then my current IP address you see it's uh, giving me an IP address that's uh, whatever whatever and that's giving me the location as uh, United Kingdom so that's one thing and now let's try another website like uh, what is my IP.com and let's see if uh, it gives me a different IP address again okay so it's uh, giving me the same IP address that's uh, United Kingdom one and by the way let me tell you guys this is not my actual IP address uh, let's uh, do some different testing let's visit hidemass.com again and try again uh, what is my IP dot okay, let's try IP dash address dot org again and let's click on hide mass so you see it's given me a new IP address guys and uh, my location is also changed Netherlands so yes this thing works and you can visit websites different websites uh, through different IP address but the problem with this web proxy is it gives you its self assigned uh, location so it's not so uh, good for region restricted uh, websites it's uh, good for if you want to hide uh, your IP address just from a website point of view uh, so now I'm gonna show you about IP port proxies and its benefits over the web proxy so let's go to IP port proxies and first of all uh, let's shift to Firefox because it's uh, very easy to configure IP port proxies on Firefox it's actually the easiest to configure on Firefox than on uh, uh, Internet Explorer or Safari or Chrome and I'm gonna give a demo of all these browsers so first uh, let's talk about uh, Firefox uh, just go to hidemass.com and go to IP port proxies uh, and there you'll have lots of options you can select countries uh, uh, which you want like if you want a website uh, there's a website which has USA uh, restriction uh, IP barrier then uh, you can select uh, United States and you'll get all the IP address uh, proxy uh, of the United States location and uh, you can have your specific ports but I wouldn't ask you to go into this thing at the moment just uh, select all countries at the moment and select all ports and uh, select uh, protocols if you want uh, SOC, uh, SOX4 or slash 5 you can use that it's also kind of proxy and uh, SOX5 Sox is used for SSL I think I'm not sure uh, but uh, it's used for SSL I suppose and HTTPS is again for SSL protection and HTTP is for normal uh, websites so uh, just select the type of uh, protocol you want at the moment I'm just gonna show HTTP because it's very easy to find and uh, select high plus k a anonymity level and uh, planet lab is just a type of proxy server which is quite, which is quite famous and uh, definitely we want a fast connection time and the speed should also be fast so just select uh, these uh, 
configuration that you want and uh, keep the anonymity level high plus k because in the header file if uh, the anonymity level is not high plus k then the website can easily know that you are using a proxy and you would be restricted again so depending on the type of website you are uh, visiting like SSL then just select HTTPS and HTTP for normal websites and socks 4 slash 5 depending on the type of website you are using so now let's proceed if you guys want to know more about socks 4 slash 5 just go to wikipedia and search for socks you'll get uh, details on it once you have got these uh, settings done uh, then you just need to select uh, a IP address uh, I have already uh, got uh, an IP address which I have selected uh, it's uh, this IP address which I got uh, just let's uh, search for a new IP address let's say I want to take this Chinese IP address just uh, copy this IP address and note down the port number that's 8909 then go to Firefox go to preferences go to network, uh, go to advanced, then go to network, then go to settings and there in settings just paste in your proxy um, that's the IP address of your proxy and since it's a HTTPA proxy just paste in over there and uh, pay, uh, type in the port number it's 8909 uh, that's what we noted and uh, don't uh, use this proxy as SSL, FTP or SOX host because there are different proxies for uh, these uh, these uh, things so uh, if you want a SSL proxy you can use HTTPS over here different HTTPS proxy and for FTP you can use a different one for socks you can use a different one and you can select the type of socks um, so at the moment we are just HTTP pro proxy so just uh, type in the IP address the port number and click on OK and uh, then just uh, visit ip-address.org and let's see whether it uh, detects the proxy as a different IP address or not so it's taking quite a lot of time to load up okay so you see that my IP address has been detected as the one that I typed in and uh, you can see that there's no proxy error detected that basically means that it, the website thinks that I'm not using a proxy and the country that it has detected is China and uh, now there will be a map that will get loaded up over here with your location and all that stuff so that's not required more important was that uh, more important was that uh, my uh, proxy was not detected so that's uh, really very good and uh, now that was uh, the tutorial for Firefox now let's go with uh, Safari for Safari, uh, what you need to do is you need to go to System Preferences. In System Preferences, uh, just search for the type of connection that you are using. If you are using a Ethernet, then uh, just go to Ethernet, uh, go to Advanced, and in Advanced, just select the click on Proxies. And uh, once you click on Proxies, select Web Proxy, and uh, is the same settings. So I'm using a Wi-Fi, so I go to Wi-Fi, and I go to Advanced and in advance I click on proxies and then I select web proxy and I type in my IP address over here and my port number over here if the proxy requires password uh, and username then you can uh, uh, type in those details over here so just click on ok once you feed in those details and click on apply once you have done that just go to safari and uh, go to ip-address.org and now let's check whether our IP has changed or not Okay, there you go so that's again the same IP that we, we were using and you see it uh, shows us our, the map and our location and uh, you can uh, see that the proxy has not been detected so that's for uh, basic tutorial for Safari uh, now let's uh, go with uh, Chrome in Chrome uh, you need to go to preferences in preferences uh, I think you need to go to under the hood and uh, in under the hood you have uh, change proxy settings in network and directly once you click on change proxy settings in on if you're using a Mac it will take you to the same location where you change the proxy settings for Safari so 
you have already changed the settings so it's already changed and uh, if you go to ip-address.org on chrome then it will uh, give you the chinese ip that we have feed it in you see uh, it's the same chinese ip that uh, we got and uh, now that was for Chrome on Mac. Now let's go with uh, Internet Explorer. In Internet Explorer, what you need to do is just open up Internet Explorer and go to uh, Tools, Internet Options. And in, in Internet Options, uh, you need to go to uh, give me a second Connections. In Connections, you need to go to LAN Settings. And in LAN Settings, you need to click on Use a Proxy Server for your LAN and uh, type in the IP address over here and the port number over here that's uh, 8909 click on OK and uh, okay it should work just give me a second yeah okay once you click on OK uh, just click on OK again it will uh, the setting settings will get applied and uh, in the new tab just let's visit IP dash address dot org let's see if we have got the chinese ip or not uh, just give me a second okay let's just wait okay there you go uh, when i went to ip dash address dot org it has given me my chinese ip and my chinese location and uh, has it detected the okay the proxy header has not been detected that's uh, that is our main query and if it detects a proxy header then it will al always give you your original IP address also so that was for uh, Internet Explorer on Windows and uh, now let's uh, go for Chrome on Windows just open up Chrome on your Windows and in chrome go to settings options in options go to under the hood and then in network click on change proxy settings and once you click on change proxy settings it will take you to the same location where you changed uh, the proxy settings for uh, windows uh, internet internet explorer so in uh, we go to lan settings and again is the same procedure so that's uh, basically it that's how you change your IP address and uh, hide your location um, through proxies so that's it with the tutorial guys uh, thanks for watching the video guys please rate comment subscribe and visit techbarrack.com